Hi friends, it's Art with Andrea Burley. Today we are going to be making a fun dandelion. Now if you have finger paints, um, you're welcome to use finger paints because we did do, I did do fingerprints. Or if you just have markers and with your parents permission, um, we're going to take the marker, color the tip of our finger, I know it, and then we're going to stamp. So I'm going to stamp with the markers because not everybody has finger paints. Um, but now would be the time to get the finger paints ready. Um, but we're going to use a black marker to make the dandelion. And then we're going to do the fingerprint. Okay? So grab your paper. You can use a pencil too if you don't have a black marker. And then go through and trace your dandelion. Um, but it's pretty easy. I don't think you'll mess up with a black marker, so you can do that. Okay, so let me switch the camera. Okay, so I did mine long ways, so I'm gonna do the same today. So what you're gonna need to do is draw a dot and this is going to be your center dot for your dandelion and you can always go back and make it bigger later I'm gonna start with a smaller one and then I'm gonna make my lines so the trick I found is to just go around you don't want super straight lines you can kind of just kind of go with it so we're gonna start with our short lines and we're gonna go around like this and then in between these lines we're gonna go a little longer so you see how that works so we're gonna go a little longer in between then in between all these lines you can decide depending on how long you already did your lines you can go medium in between so I did mine a little longer so I'm gonna go medium so you're just gonna to want to go around and it's easier if you just go in between the lines you already have just like that see how that works and then if you're like, okay, so mine's kind of a smaller dandelion. I think I'm going to make, I'm going to go around again and do even longer. Because I want mine just a little bit bigger than what I have now. So I'm going to carefully kind of plan out my lines. And I'm going to still go in between. And I'm just going to pop some lines in. You might need to turn your paper around if that helps. So that looks pretty good to me. Now from here, now you're going to want to put dots on all of your ends of your lines so this is going to help it look more like a dandelion so you're just going to keep working your way around drawing your dots for your dandelion. Okay, now in your middle, if you want your circle a little bigger, you can go through and draw your circle a little bigger for the middle or just leave it, it's up to you. 
And if you have kind of a wonky line that you don't like, um, this would be the time to where you can go ahead and use that line for your stem, or you can add another line. I think I'm just gonna add another line for mine, and I'm just gonna carefully go, and it's gonna be kind of a straight line, and then I'm gonna go off my page. Okay? So here is where the fun begins. Here is where we're going to begin our fingerprinting. So you're going to take a marker. I recommend using your non-writing hand first. And you're just going to color the tip of your finger and then just push it down. You might be able to get two per one, but I would recommend going around and doing a few of the same color before you move on to the next finger, just so you don't have to go back. So I'm just gonna keep going around like that. And then I'm going to use a different color. So I'm going to use a different finger. So you can have up to 10 colors if you want. So here I am coloring on my next finger. And I'm going to go ahead and just go around. And you don't have to do it on the tops. You can do it in the middle and just randomly put them in there. And you can switch colors. I don't know what color I want to do next. So here we go with some green. So this is where I'm going to leave you guys today. Um, I'm going to keep fingerprinting mine and going around and around with different colors. You could even do the same pattern and do red and blue and call it a firework if you don't want to do the dandelion because, um, I don't know, maybe some kids don't want to do a dandelion. So you can definitely do these type images through your paper and you can do fireworks instead, which would be pretty cool. And then for my original, I went ahead and just put make a wish. Um, I mean, there's nothing fancy about the writing at all. So if you want to write make a wish, this would be a cute print for a note card too. Um, if you make your own note cards and maybe you put like a little message. Um, so anyway, hope you guys enjoy your fingerprinting and enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you next week.